How's it going, guys? I'm Connor from Running Warehouse. Today I'm here with Chris, Senior Product Manager at New Balance. And today, we are gonna be talking about the new New Balance 1080 V12. Now, Chris, the 1080 has been kind of that reliable, highly cushioned workhorse in the New Balance line for years. Now we're on version 12. What was the inspiration behind the latest version and what's gonna kind of set it apart from those last couple versions? Yeah, Connor. I mean, we like to say at New Balance, if we only could build one shoe, it would be the 1080. It's honestly that workhorse shoe for everybody. Super plush, super cushioned. You have that from right from your first step in, but also just dependable. On the midsole, we use our same Fresh Foam X compound that we've had in the previous generation, but we really just looked at the geometries of the midsole and how we could enhance cushioning through the geometries and the shaping of that midsole, allowing for optimal flex in the forefoot, in the metatarsal region, and also just the same as with the outsole coverage of where we put flex grooves and where we have strategically placed the rubber. So gonna continue to have that Fresh Foam X compound. It's really soft, really cushioned. It has all the cushion you really need for any distance, any day of the week. Can you dive a little bit more into kind of what Fresh Foam X means? Because I know we've heard Fresh Foam for years. Now we've got that latest kind of X designation. What's gonna set apart this newest version and kind of make it the most plush 1080 to date? Yeah, Connor, so with Fresh Foam X, the X really signifies our most premium compound that we use in the midsole. So when we moved from Fresh Foam to Fresh Foam X, it was really just enhancing that cushioning uh, material that we use in the midfoot. So really just looking at how we can provide the runner that super soft, super plush, um, underfoot running experience. And again, with the midsole, really in the forefoot, we widen the, the nets of, of the shaping of the midsole to allow a little bit more displacement when the runner lands and toes off. So they're gonna feel that cushioning more so in the forefoot um, for longer runs um, as it is that kind of workhorse model for us. And that fresh foam kind of uh, concept is all about kind of analytics and tweaking to make it, you know, more cushioned, feel better on foot, have that smoother ride. Now, moving on down to the outsole, how has that fresh foam kind of concept worked its way into the outsole and how is it gonna be different here with version 12? Yeah, so we actually, with the data to design, we took a look at tons of strike patterns with our SRL, our, C our sports research lab, and really just looked at how we built in the flex grooves of that fresh foam X midsole. So looking at the outsole placement, you'll see really strategic points of flex. And that is based on the amount of data that we received from a multitude of wear testing runners and also that force plate data that I mentioned a little earlier. And we were able to put these grooves in really specific locations where the majority of runners are having that highest pressure. So you're having a much smoother transition underfoot. You're not having that kind of slappy underfoot ride that sometimes you get um, when you have a significantly covered outsole with rubber. Looking at the outsole, we do have a five millimeter lug here. So it is similar to our predecessor, but the shoe itself still has that 2719 uh, stack height. So same as predecessor in terms of the center line of the midsole and just the guts of the shoe. Now the 1080 is kind of always known about comfort and you feel that underfoot, but it also really comes to play in that upper, a really nice fit, really soft material. Tell us about the latest update in the upper. Yeah, so we actually are going back to a material a little bit closer to our V10. So it's a, our hypo knit material upper. It's just gonna have a really nice hand feel to it, a really soft plush. We did find with V11, maybe some runners found it to be a little bit scratchier than they would want. So V12 here is gonna be a little bit softer, a little bit more plush of a material in the upper. And this also allows us to really knit in some really uh, areas of strategic support in the saddle here in the midfoot and then some breathability zones up in the forefoot. Um, you will notice that the Ultra Heel on the upper is gone. And we really, you know, we thought we had something really special with Ultra Heel for some runners. It brought that heel lock in closer to the, um, to the back of the foot and really secured the runners. But for some, it, it didn't really hit the mark. And as the 1080, as I said earlier, is the shoe that if we could only build one, it would be the 1080. We really wanted to appease the majority of, of runners here and really look for a solution underfoot that just worked for everybody. Yeah, you know, the 1080 really is kind of a shoe for anyone, whether you're a newer runner, uh, a runner who does every day, or a professional, the 1080 can get the job done. The real question is, what are you finding most people are using this for, and kind of where do you find it kind of fitting in that, uh, that daily training lineup? Yeah, you know, at New Balance, we try to build a shoe for every single day of your running experience. We have, we like to call it our, you know, if we had a quiver of arrows, you, for different days, you have different shoes. The 1080 is definitely kind of spans the most days. We want this to be the shoe that you want to go to when you want to feel soft, cushioned, 
relax, go browse for some easy training miles. But also, I mean, our team New Balance athletes, this is one of their favorite shoes. They wear the 1080 for up-tempo days sometimes. Um, maybe they ran in a fuel cell shoe the day before and they want to feel a little softer, a little bit more cushioned um, to recover. But it definitely, the 1080 would have the most flex across our line in terms of when it's being used and when it's being pulled. Well, thanks, Chris, for giving us kind of the whole breakdown on the 1080 V12. The 1080 has really been kind of a staple shoe in my own lineup for years. I've ran in several versions, and it really is that shoe that you can use for any day of the week, long runs, recovery efforts, just daily training. It's a shoe that gets the job done. Now with version 12, we've got small updates that are very noteworthy that are gonna to continue to make it potentially the best 1080 to date. If you're looking to get this shoe on your feet, good news, it is finally here at runningwarehouse.com.